Welcome back everybody to Entrepreneur TV Middle East and with me is Alex Manson. He's the CEO of SC Ventures. Thank you so much for coming over to Entrepreneur Thanks TV. Thanks for having me. How are you today? Uh, great. great. Uh, the event I think is going pretty well, right? Even though it's day two. It's, 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 it's day two, still standing, yeah. busy, and it's energizing. You right. Know, lots of uh, you know, great vibe, lots of energy, good momentum. It's uh, it's good. It's to what be here. we need here. It's what we need. So tell me a little bit about SC Ventures. You know, from your end, uh, where did that journey start? Where are you now? How is it looking? All right. So so where did it start? I was within a bank, in you know, obviously Standard Chartered Bank. You know, I was within a bank, and a number of clients were asking us to do certain things in a certain way. And technologically that was feasible, the bank was perfectly willing to try, but we didn't manage to scale it. And the reason why we didn't do this was not that people were unwilling or, or, or any of that, right. it was business models. And so we came up with the idea that if we were going to reward the DNA in banking, transform financial services, serve these clients the way they wanted to be served, mm -hmm. we were going to have to do some of this outside the bank right. in the form of ventures. Right. And those were the very first venture ideas. That, you know, that, that we brought to life, essentially. And how many companies now do you have Fast that? forward six years later, yeah. we have 35 ventures, which oh, wow. are being incubated pretty much from nothing to where they are now. We right. also invest at times in the partners we work with, so there are an additional 22 portfolio companies that we have been working with in the context typically of building our ventures or implementing their capabilities, and that's right. the portfolio. And where can we uh, see in the next six years? The next six years, well, there's an element of more of the same. There's an element of doing, doing this at, uh, you know, better and, uh, and uh, expanding geographically, which is a big part of, uh, of what we're doing Definitely. here. We started you know, a year ago, same DFS, we had two endemic ventures, meaning they were born and bred here in the UAE. Right. Um, they're they're Maizo, you know well, and, yeah. uh, and, and, uh, and APRO. Uh, we now have uh, six, soon to become seven different businesses that we have either incubated here mm -hmm. or established here in the region or are rolling out in this part of the world because we think they're very relevant. Definitely. And so, and so the, the, the solutions that are, you know, the themes we deal with, reconciling banking and societal expectations of banking, right. online banking and consumers, SMEs, supply chain, world trade, digital assets across the board, ESG, right. all these themes are very relevant to right, this part right. of the world. So we, we're rolling them out geographically. In, in, in and uh, we wish you the best of luck in all of those new well, thank you. adventures. Now tell me one thing, yeah. I heard you wrote a book. We did, yes. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, we, so so the, the book really started as, 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 there were some notes, right? It's a journey that is a little unusual and, um, and we reflected quite a bit on why large organizations fail to tra transform themselves, what it means to be entrepreneurial, intrapreneurial within a large organization, what are all the behaviors and mindsets that need to be unlearned right. and then rewired in order to be successful at creation. Some of the things that we do as managers, which are well established, ingrained, and, and we become senior something as right. a result of doing them well, but the reality is they're counterproductive once you, once you right. become a creator or an entrepreneur. And I'll give you an example. In a, in a big company, you're trained to be efficient. So whenever you see two people doing the same thing, you know, it's inefficient, sort of. There's no point going efficiently when you don't know where you're going. Right. And so, so you need to allow for redundancy. So a number of managerial reflexes which we had to honor. So that prompted me and, and, and a few others to, to actually write about it. And we ended up writing the story of Zero to One, how I see Ventures came about, the genesis, but also some of the things that we learned in the very early days right. of, uh, of existence. That's very so interesting. We've, we've, we've got eight chapters on our website, cventures.io, okay. so I'll you can sure check, it, check out, it out, and then we'll come out with a book very shortly. Perfect. Now, since you are the CEO, I wanted to ask you one final question. Any tips, tricks up your sleeve uh, for all the other you know, aspiring CEOs out there, company founders? What is it that they're supposed to do to make sure you know they become more successful? I think, I think it's the basics, which is, ultimately solve a real client problem. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we talk about serving customers the way they want to be served. Um, the, the thing you don't want to see is a solution looking for a problem. Um, right. they, they, you have to address problems that are worth solving, worth right. addressing. And, and start with this. And then, and then uh, financial success is an outcome of that as opposed to you don't start with that. Right. And so an element of going for, for real problems and, uh, and, and, and staying close to the customers. We stick to a method which is you know, you, you can think of it as a lean startup method, which is don't build a white elephant and hope it'll work. Right. Something small, even not perfect, but try, iterate, try, iterate, get feedback, do it as many times as it perfect. takes. It. Until you think you're onto something, and when you think you're onto something, now you scale it. And in fact, the ventures, the 10 logos we have here are the survivors 
of right. many, many, many iteration cycles and hundreds of ideas, but there's an element of going through the process and doing it with the, with the right. same discipline. And then the last thing I'd say to an entrepreneur anywhere in the world is, you know, it's, it's hard. It's, it's uh, you know, right. I, mean, I, I joke, you know, I wish somebody told me it would be that hard. You know, the reality is we knew, but, but it's hard. It's a difficult environment. And, and, and yet, at some point, resilience, right? Whatever comes out of this difficult period of time will be pretty resilient, will be pretty good. And you that's build a that great thick vintage. Skin. That's a great vintage to build. It's a great vintage to invest. And you build that skin, as you said, which right. is absolutely critical. Well, Alex, it was an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for coming over to Entrepreneur TV. And we hope to see you again very soon on our cameras. Right.